Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'm going to crossfire the AMD Radeon R7 265 graphics card. I'll use two identical graphics cards for this test, the ASUS R7 265 DirectU 2 cards. Now, just in case you're interested to see the full review of a single R7 265, then watch my review of that card. Before I move on, I'd like to thank a true subscriber and fan of mine named Skyprey for lending me his cards to review. Skyprey has even sent me money to send the cards back. Thank you so much Skyprey for making it possible for me to review these cards completely free of charge. I really appreciate it. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the benchmarks. The AMD R7265 in Crossfire doesn't seem to be a bad choice at all. One card alone can't really compete with high-end cards such as the Nvidia GTX 780. But when running two of these R7265s in Crossfire, you get dangerously close. The price difference between these cards is immense though, and you shouldn't compare mid-range cards with high-end ones. You don't really get double the performance, but indeed a very big performance boost that makes your gaming experience a lot better. I personally didn't notice any micro stuttering, everything was butter smooth. I only experienced one problem and that was with Battlefield 4. Whenever I selected Mantle as the API in-game, the game crashed somewhere in the middle of the loading screen. DirectX 11 was no problem though. So it seems like Mantle hasn't been optimized for a crossfire yet, or at least the drivers. Having two of these cards in the system doesn't produce much extra noise, but the temperatures definitely increase, but nothing you should worry about. The power consumption is really good actually for cross-fired graphics cards and pretty much reflects the offered performance. Overall I'd say two R7265s pretty much perform as good or even a little bit better as a single R9280X. Price performance wise, this solution isn't bad at all. I can definitely recommend having two AMD R7265 graphics cards run in Crossfire. Once again, huge thanks to Skyprey for lending me his two R7265 cards and therefore making this Crossfire review and the main review of a single R7265 possible. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.